Welcome to another M1 video, this time on velocity time graphs. Okay, so velocity time graphs a little bit different to displacement time graphs. Now with these, now this time if I've got, um, let's do this in black. If I've got a line on that kind of X axis down there, that would be zero velocity. Okay, means it isn't moving. Now equally, if I had kind of any horizontal line, okay, that would be a constant velocity. So it means it isn't accelerating. Yeah. And then if I have um, a diagonal line, so, you know, something like this, then this would be constant acceleration. Okay, and it's quite straightforward, but it's just a case of remembering um, the differences between dealing with velocity time graphs and displacement time graphs. Now, the acceleration is the gradient of the line, okay, the rate in change of velocity. So the gradient of this line would give me the acceleration. And the area under this line would give me the displacement. So if I look at, you know, this one here, say a cutoff point here, this area here is the displacement. Now, for some of you who have done further maths at GCSE, you might have already come across these kind of things. When you differentiate velocity, you get acceleration. When you integrate velocity, you get displacement. And integration is that area under the curve, under the line. Okay, or between the line and the x-axis to be more accurate. So that there is just a little introduction to velocity time graphs. Now let's have a look at uh, an example. So here we have uh, the diagram shows the motion of a cyclist along a straight road. Okay, so here we've got the cyclists. Now this point is accelerating. This now is going at constant velocity. And then this one is decelerating. Okay, slowing down. Now, find the acceleration of the first 20 seconds of motion. So what we've got to do is basically find the, the gradient of this line. And the gradient is the change in y over the change in x, isn't it? So the acceleration, we'll call it a, is going to be the change in y, which is 8 over the change in x, which is 20. So just in the calculator, 8 divided by 20 is 0 0.4. So that's meters per second squared. Now the deceleration, okay, uh, we'll call that A again because deceleration is just a negative acceleration. Okay, it's going to be this distance down here. So this time it's going to be negative 8 because we're going from 8 down to 0 uh, rather than 0 to 8. And it's over 15 seconds. So that's minus 8 over 15. 
so minus 0 0.53 meters per second squared there. Now C is find the displacement. So for this is just find the area under the graph. So I'll call it A, B and C. So area A is going to be base times height divided by 2. So that's 4 or 10 times 80. So 80 meters. Area B is going to be 40 times 8, which is 320 meters. And area C will be 15 times by 8 divided by 2 which will be 60 meters so total area there will be 460 meters now soon we'll have some formulae and you'll actually be able to do this with uh, the formulae rather than the area Okay, but at this moment we haven't looked at the formulae, so we'll stick with using the area. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Um, at this point, if you are, well, new to the channel or just unsubscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You don't have to tell me, I don't, sorry, I don't have to tell you that it's free. Um, but obviously it does help me out. The more subscribers I've got, the more my videos go out to people uh, and then it kind of snowballs from there. So that would really help me out. And if you found my videos useful over time, then please consider hitting that join button and supporting me and the channel to make more videos. Right, let's look at the questions. So just two questions today. Um, pause the video kind of any point now. And then once you undo the questions, then unpause and check out the answers afterwards. Okay, so question one, we've got a motorcyclist starting from point S on a straight track moves with constant acceleration for 15 seconds, reaches a velocity of 30 meters per second. He then travels that velocity for T seconds. Finally, he decelerates at a constant rate, coming to rest at point F 25 seconds after he began to decelerate. Sketch a velocity time graph to illustrate this. So we're going to need to draw a graph. It's a sketch, so we don't have to worry about kind of scales. And he accelerates at constant acceleration. So that's going to be a straight line acceleration to 30 meters per second. So this is going to be 30 here. And this is going to be V in meters per second. And that time that he took that was 15 seconds. He then continues at that speed, or that velocity I should say, for a further T seconds. So uh, this is, oh, capital T, sorry. So this part is T, and then he decelerates in 25 seconds. So that is kind of not as steep as the acceleration. Okay, so this now final section here is 25 seconds. 
okay and this is obviously time in seconds now at these points so that 15 this is t plus 15 and then this would be at the end t plus um, 40 okay so that is my uh, velocity time graph okay so i would just you know not put these in but put these values in at those points and don't forget the zero at the start so looking something like this where that first point is point s and that last point is point f you don't really have to put the s and the f in okay now for part b given that the distance between s and f is 2.4 kilometers calculate the time the motorcyclist takes to travel from s to f so we can work out the distance traveled um, in this section here while he's accelerating so you know the accelerating part is going to be 15 times 30 divided by 2 which will be 2 to 5 meters now the d accelerating distance would have been uh, 25 times 30 divided by 2 which is 375 meters so plus 225 that gives 600 meters So that means that for this middle section here, I'll put it onto this, I'll put it on in, in red. So this is two to five meters. This is three, seven, five meters. And this therefore is 1800 meters okay and what that means is we can now find that time so if we want to find t so t is distance divided by velocity oh, not distance displacement in this case i'll just uh, rub that out over velocity so that's 1800 over 30 okay so that is 60 seconds so we want to find the total time so total time is 60 plus 40 which equals a hundred seconds let's look at question two okay question two a particle moves a hundred meters in a straight line the diagram shows the motion of the particle find u now with the use of the formulae uh, this would be a relatively straightforward question but at this point we don't know the formula or the formulae so we're just going to do it using the the diagram so for this i'm going to work out the distances so that's just the area under each section so this section here has a base of seven a height of 10 so it's 70 meters this section here is a base of two a height of 10 so two times 10 is 20 
divided by 2 is 10 meters. Therefore, this section is got to be 20 meters. So I can use um, a trapezium formula for the area. Okay, um, that will be obviously the easiest way. So, area of a trapezium is A plus B divided by 2 times H, isn't it? Now the area is 20. A is U plus uh, B will be 10 divided by 2 times by a height which is 3. Okay, so rearranging times by 2 gives me 40 over 3. So u equals 40 over 3 minus 10, and that gives me 10 over 3 meters per second, or 3.3. Okay, so that is finding u. I find the acceleration of the particle in the first 3 seconds. So for that, I need to find the gradient of this line. So that would be the difference in the y values. So that would be 10 minus 10 over 3. Divided by the difference in the x values, which is between 0 and 3. So that's just 3. So 10 minus 10 over 3. Divided by 3 gives me 20 over 9 or 2.2 recurring. And that is the acceleration of the particle. Nice and easy. Okay, hope you, um, I want to say enjoyed this video, but uh, you know, we're learning maths. Not everyone is going to enjoy it, but hopefully you find it useful. Okay, next video is on acceleration time graphs and then we'll be done with our graphs and we'll move on to the formulae.